The early stage in a uh, child development are important because uh, many studies have shown that they affect uh, children later outcomes uh, such as their career development for example or their health and well-being. When we measure early child development, uh, we uh, try to look at a different, uh, different set of skills or children's skills, uh, both cognitive, such as uh, IQ, for example, or numeracy and literacy uh, skills, as well as non-cognitive skills. And uh, by that, we mean uh, aspect of social and emotional uh, uh, behavior of the child, such as uh, the way the child interact with other children or with the parents, or responds, for example, to uh, different uh, new situations. In this paper, what we're interested in is uh, uh, to understand the factors that influence uh, early child development. We focus in particular on the effect of their mother's uh, mental health, such as, for example, whether uh, the mother is depressed. We follow um, over 10,000 children uh, using uh, data from the Millennium Court study covering the preschool years and the primary school years. One possible issue with this kind of analysis is that uh, very often the children non-cognitive skills are reported by the mother. So there is a possibility that the mother's mental health may influence uh, the measures that we have for uh, the children on cognitive skills. What we do to account for this problem is to use uh, measures of the child non-cognitive skills which are reported by the interviewer in some cases and by uh, teachers in other cases that are not influenced uh, by uh, the mother's mental health. The first of our findings uh, is that actually children seem to be much more resilient in respect of their mother's mental health than we have originally thought. Our second finding is that there is more potential for growth in the development of child non-cognitive skills than we had previously thought. <laughs>